Hello, my friends. It's a beautiful day. I hope you're having a good day. Make it a good day. Every day is what you choose it to be. And today I want to talk about just that um, choosing and perspective. I want to talk about emotional intelligence and what that means to me. I think emotional intelligence is probably one of the most important things that you can implement in your life, especially when it comes to healing your body because our emotions are directly and intimately tied with our physical bodies. There's a book called The Body Remembers and it's all about how our emotional feelings and reactions, traumas, things like that, can physically get stored in our body and then it manifests as disease, um, different ailments later in life. So what is emotional intelligence? Well, for me, that means awareness, mindfulness, and it means accountability and responsibility for how you feel, react, and perceive things to be. And it means taking accountability and responsibility for your feelings in the moment. Not just in hindsight, reflecting back on why did that happen? How did I react that way? What's really going on? It means being present and as things arise, notice it in the moment. Take some accountability for how you feel. We're very programmed to, to put things outside of us, to think that somebody or something has an effect over our emotions and how we feel or react. When that's not true at all, that's not the case. If somebody else affects how you feel, you're choosing to let that person affect how you feel. You're choosing to have that perspective of this person affects my feelings. It doesn't have to be that way. And honestly, life is a lot better when you take back control over how you feel and how you react and how you perceive things to be. Because when you have that control and awareness, you have your own power back. You take back your power that the media and, you know, the powers that think they be, they want that control over you. They want you living in fear they want you running on autopilot like we've all been for lifetimes, decades. Your autopilot programming is based on your childhood. It's based on what other people have put into your mind as to who you are, what you are, how you should perceive things, how the world is. But I can assure you, as a matter of fact that when you shift your perspective and you choose to feel differently, that will reflect outside of you and the world is going to reflect back to you things that will confirm your inner self, your inner being. It's basically confirmation bias. And that's a real thing, you know? It's like when you, you find what you're looking for. So, why don't we choose to look for the good in things and the happiness and the positivity? What's going right in your life? I mean, I could sit here and run down a list of all the things that are perceivably wrong in my life that are a challenge or a struggle. And, you know, I can let it get me down. Or I can be like, you know, this is a challenge. This is an opportunity for growth and expansion because we don't expand when things are easy. We don't learn new things when life is just going smooth. And it's also kind of boring. I mean, 
if things were just exactly how you want it all the time, what are you learning from that? What do you gain? I know I personally have gained more through the hard times that I've experienced. I can reflect back and be like, wow, look what I overcame. And here I am, I'm still going, I'm still living, I'm still breathing. Sometimes I don't know how, <laughs> but you have to remember in the moments where things are tough and challenging that nothing lasts forever and there's always something positive to find in it. If you're ever having a squabble or a discussion, a disagreement with a significant other, that is your perfect opportunity. That is your moment to look at yourself and go within and say, okay, why am I reacting to this? What's really going on? Was there something in my childhood that this is triggering? Was there something in my young adult years that this is bringing up repeated traumas, repeated patterns? It works really well too if your partner is on board and they look at themselves as well because then you guys can really get to the bottom and the root of what's triggering you. What's causing the back and forth? Why is it escalating? When you can take accountability for your own feelings and maybe apologize if you need to, but only apologize if you mean it and if there's something to apologize for. Don't just say sorry as, you know, to appease somebody as a way to just get them off your back. Don't say sorry when it's not meaningful. But really say, I'm sorry for my reaction. I overreacted and was triggered because X, Y, Z, because my dad or my mom or when I was a kid and, you know, whatever the reason. But really dig deep and find out what those true reasons are because I can promise you it's probably not whatever the moment is. It might not always be the case. But largely, there's going to be something underlying it. There's going to be something in you that is attracting those experiences in order for you to really look within and dig deeper and find that original trigger and get rid of it. And then guess what? When you eliminate those triggers, when you shine light on the darkness, it goes away. You're not going to keep repeating these same things over and over and over again. You're not going to keep dating the same shitty people over and over again. Why are you attracting the circumstances, events, and people into your life? Because you're attracting it. It's God, the universe, whatever higher power have you. It, that's its way of getting you to connect and getting you to look at yourself, to go within, to connect with that higher source and power, that power within you that you have to transmute traumas and overcome things so you grow, expand, learn, create, manifest the life of your dreams. And it all starts with emotional intelligence. Be mindful of how you're reacting when you drive, when you're at work, when you're with your kids, when you're with your partner, when you're at the store. What are you feeling? Are you even aware of your feelings? Are you even, do you even have a conscious awareness of your feelings? Start with that. It's one thing at a time. It's, it's the first step is just having awareness. Oh, I'm feeling enraged right now. Huh, would you look at that? Wouldn't you know it? I am pissed off and I'm triggered. That's the first step. How many times have you been triggered and pissed and you haven't paid any mind to it? You just let the system run on autopilot and then it just stacks those traumas and those physical problems in your body. And then when you start paying attention and noticing these emotions and traumas, sadness, anger, fear, whatever it is that comes up. 
after you start paying attention for a little while, then you can start digging a little deeper and maybe asking why. And then they eventually, they just start to drop off. Life goes smoother, you feel calmer inside. Don't expect to heal overnight. This is a, um, a process to say the least. This is going to take time because you've had decades of built up traumas and emotions that just run, run their course without you being aware. And the idea is to bring awareness to it to place responsibility back on yourself instead of pointing the finger outside of you. That's disempowering. To put, to put that on somebody else, say, you're responsible, it's your fault. Where's, where's the empowerment in that? Don't be a victim. That's just playing the role of a victim at that point. You're not a victim. You're not a victim of your circumstances. You're not a victim of your past. You have control. You choose your perception. You choose how you feel and react. And if you can't choose it right away, be okay with that. Be compassionate with yourself and love yourself through those frustrating times. That's, that's challenging. But I think it's critical to have compassion for yourself as you work through this process and you learn to be mindful and attentive to your feelings and emotions at all times. So that is emotional intelligence. And it has been at the forefront of my own life. And I see amazing changes taking place because of it. It's all about your mindset. You manifest and attract your world and reality around you through your thoughts and your emotions. So take back control of it. Take charge of yourself. You're not a victim. You have full total control and power over everything in your life, everything. And if you need any help or support with this, I do take clients. I am more than happy to guide you through the process or any specific issues you might be having, any challenges, and then we can figure out what the best course of action is for you. Message me, email me, contact me if you need some help with this, but I think everybody is capable more than capable of overcoming anything just know that first of all you have to know it you have to want it you have to really want to create the life that you deserve and that means taking responsibility for it so i hope you have a wonderful day and i hope you stay mindful today Practice it as often as you can and let me know how it goes.